altogether. I have determined that the victim, Mr. Leonard Luther, was murdered. <gasps> murdered? What? I attempted to telephone the police, but the blizzard that has trapped us all in this hotel has also brought down the telephone lines. So, in the absence of the constabulary, and in my capacity as Vera Marple, the extremely successful private detective, I have carried out a thorough investigation and, and, line please, Charles. Jessica, we really should know this line by now, and it is clear that the murderer, etc., etc. Now, can we get on? You know I want to get finished early tonight. And it's clear to me that the murderer is in this room. <gasps> Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Toby, you've sneezed snot as all over my shirt. Neil, got me as well. Toby, that's the third time tonight you've disrupted this rehearsal. Sorry, Charlie. It's the dust. Never mind the dust. Just be more deader. Are you sure he's been murdered? There isn't a mark on him. That, Mr. Barnaby, is because he's been poisoned. Poisoned? Yes, poisoned by an obscure and deadly potion known only by a secret tribe of pygmies in a remote part of the Amazon jungle. I'm sorry, Charles, but can we really say uh. pygmies these days? It sounds so on PC. It's in the script. It's a very old script, Charles. But if you're happy to leave it in, that's fine. It's you who'll have to deal with the complaint. Okay, okay, just say secret tribe then. Well, can we move on? We don't have much time left. <coughs> Are you suggesting one of us murdered him? That is precisely what I'm suggesting, Mr. Barnaby. There is no one else in your precious hotel. Ergo, it must have been one of you who committed the crime. Oh, or perhaps it was two of you working together. The Mrs. Taggart. But the door was locked from the inside. And what you're suggesting was really quite impossible. Impossible? It's not impossible at all. The solution is quite simple. Solution being the operative word. Solution, miss? Yes, dear. Charles, I thought we had agreed not to use that word dear. It's demeaning and sexist. Yes, Angelina, we did agree. We changed the line to yes, Julia. I do apologize, Angelina. And this from the woman who comes to every rehearsal in costume. Can we get on, please? <laughs> yes, dear Julia, the word is solution. I don't understand. It's elementary. The poison is smeared onto the tip of a tiny dart, the kind used in blowpipes. But Mr. Luther was alone in this room and the door was locked from the inside. It's true, he was alone, but he didn't lock himself in. Remember the key was lying on the floor. That is an important clue. Someone locked him in. Leonard tries to open the door, it won't open. He hears someone on the other side. What does he do? What? He looks through the keyhole to see who it is. And that is when the murderer produces his blowpipe. He blows the dart through the keyhole right into Leonard's eye. The poison takes effect. Leonard falls into a position where we now see him. The murderer skites the key into the room under the gap in the bottom of the door. Then, and this is a clever bit, a fine thread tied to the dart allows him to withdraw it from the victim and to pull it back through the keyhole. As I said, elementary. What do you mean, skites? That's 
that's not in the script. I'm sorry for adopting the local vernacular, Charles, but it sounds so much better than slides, don't you agree? If you say so. That still doesn't explain who killed him. After all, none of us had met him before we arrived here yesterday. That's not entirely true. Is it, Julia? Miss? You see, I went through some of Leonard's belongings and found some papers hidden in a secret compartment of his briefcase, hidden at the back of the wardrobe, behind an ironing board, underneath a pile of clothes. Those papers revealed that before you became a housemaid, you were a research assistant to an explorer. An explorer who discovered a tribe of pig, not very tall people, in the Amazonian forest. That explorer was none other than Leonard Luther. <gasps> and Leonard was blackmailing, wasn't he, Julia? <gasps> you knew he came to Crigley Manor every year. So you got a job here as a maid, changed your appearance so he wouldn't recognize you and decided to poison him with the very poison that he had found in that remote jungle. A poison that he foolishly carried around with him and you found in his coat pocket when you were cleaning his room. All right, miss. I admit it. I admit it was me what poisoned him. But if you knew the reason why... Very well, Julia. Tell us, why did you poison Leonard Luther? Well, you see, miss, it was because... Uh, sorry, folks, I, I've got to go. That's, that's it for tonight. <laughs> Toby's nodded off. Toby! Toby! Oh! Oh my God! What? It's Toby! He's been... Poisoned! poisoned.